through the grade and welcome to grammar for today. This week we're going to be looking at dialogue or using quotations in a sentence. Remember dialogue is used to show the exact words that a character says <clears throat> and then it explains who and how they said it. We have two parts to a quotation or dialogue. The first part is called a tag and that is who is saying it. The other part is the quotation and that's what they say. Today we will be identifying the quotation in a sentence. Our activity says to underline what the speaker said and write in the missing quotation marks. We'll do the odds together and you'll do the evens on your own. Let's go ahead and begin. <clears throat> Number one, I wonder where to hang this frame, the woman wondered. So which part did the speaker say? I wonder where to hang the frame. Remember, we add quotation marks around what the speaker says. So after the question mark and before the I. Go ahead and write that in now. And let's move on to number three. Are there more people coming? Asked the hostess at the restaurant. Well, the hostess says, are there more people coming? And I put quotation marks after the question mark in before are. Remember, there are two, two lines for quotation marks. Number three. Now we're on number five. Phil told Julia, this is my new bicycle. This is my new bicycle, is what Phil said. Now I can also tell because there's a capital letter in the middle of that sentence. Put quotations before and after. Number seven, Frank asked Mark, do you want to come with me to the park? This is what they said. And I put quotation marks after and before. Number nine, the children kept asking, are we there yet? Well, this is what the children said. And I put quotations before and after. For your activity today, you'll be completing the evens, two, four, six, eight, and 10. And then you'll be done with grammar for today. <clears throat> 